Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's my Asia Simone. Erica Banks is in the studio. How you feeling, girl? I'm good. How you feeling? You look real chill, but cute. Face still thank beat. Thank you. Thank you. It's hot outside, girl. <laughs> yeah, look, I know. It's hot Atlanta. Now, the last time we saw each other, you were, you know, actually shooting Love and Hip Hop. You were at your, it was a hype hair thing. You came and performed. I ain't got time. Yeah. It was a whole bop. You know, how has uh, life been lately? What have you been up to? Girl, just working since then, you know, mm-hmm. growing. Um, I just put out two new singles. I'm about to put out a project. So, you know, that was like a year and some change ago. Yeah, that was so, a minute. It went by fast, too. It went by so fast. And, you know, we're going to get into the music. Um, I just always wanted to know. I've never been to Texas. Mm-hmm. And what is the main difference between, like, Texas and Atlanta? Because I know everybody says, and, and is it like, where are you from? DeSoto? DeSoto, DeSoto or Dallas. Either one. Dallas. What's the main difference in the culture? Um, The main culture? Mm-hmm. Like the hip hop culture, the men. Yeah, <laughs> why the men? Like, what's the difference? Um, you know, so in Dallas, they're mm-hmm. more like rough. You know, they're more dominant, rough you, around the edges. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. here they're more like. <laughs> you know, I don't know what that means. Like, because <laughs> I mean, I'm from Atlanta, so I don't know any other. Okay, so okay. I, I dated a guy in Atlanta, and I've dated a guy from Dallas. Okay, so dating a guy from Dallas was like, like I said, he was rough around the edges. Mm-hmm. You know, he had a little edge to him. Mm-hmm. And then when I dated a guy in Atlanta, it was kind of like, okay, he thought he was the prize. Mm-hmm. He wanted to be courted. Mm-hmm. He wanted to be taken out on dates. So it's more so like we got like the pretty boy <laughs> type. Pretty boy is a boys. great example. Pretty That's boy. a great example. It's like they feel like it's like what you gonna do. They for feel me? like they just as important as the women. You know what? That's so crazy. And yeah. and I can say that you know because me being from here, I do feel that sense of entitlement for men. Like they do feel like I'm the king. Yeah, I need it's a queen like, to who add. Are you, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Lord, <laughs> it's so crazy because we've actually seen you. You know, in real life, like. We watch you on Love and Hip Hop. We see you on social media. You've gone through so many different phases of relationships and just dealing with men. I mean, first of all, what's your type? Because I feel like we need to, as a culture, as women, we need to help Erica find her her king. You know what I'm saying? Well, you I know feel what? Like- <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Every time I date a guy, he makes the same joke, so I'm going to tell it to you. Okay. <laughs> they always be like, they ask me the same thing you ask me. They be like, so what's your type? Mm-hmm. Because... I'm looking at your your resume mm-hmm. and all the dudes you be picking is like, and they just yeah. totally different. Now, mm-hmm. the guys that I have dated are mm-hmm. all totally different guys. Mm-hmm. So I don't really think I have a type when it comes to guys. I think if I just like you, I like you. So right now, if I said, if I lined up 10 men, if we did the balloon popping thing, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know how to pick out a man for you. Like, what would you say? Like, what, you, what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Okay. To me, now if you find, you find. Okay. You know, I don't okay. that could be that could look gotta, like anything. Gotta look good. You gotta look good. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta be funny. Okay. Financially stable. Okay. Masculine. Masculine. Yeah. Like what's one main trait he gotta have? Like, cause I know you said you don't like when they complain or you like for them to express themselves, but not necessarily to the point where they're just like nagging and complaining. Yeah. I like a man that can over dominate me. Ooh. If he cannot over dominate me, it's, it's not gonna work. But would you call yourself dominant? Would you say you're absolutely? Dominant? You're dominant. That's how I know I need a man that can over dominate me. Cause I got a mouth, girl. I'm a, I'm a talk. I'm a. I think I run everything. Aww. So I need a man that's gonna be like, hey, shut your ass up, and I'm gonna be like, okay, okay. You know, <laughs> like you gonna sit back. I'm you need somebody back. that you can like submit to. Right, okay. right, 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 okay. right. I get that. I get so. that. So loving hip hop, we do get to see a little bit of your life. What are we on season twelve? Yes. We're um, what's been going on with the latest? Because I haven't watched the actual first episode yet because I know it just dropped. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm actually not on that episode. I should okay. be on next Tuesday's episode, though. Okay. But um, this season, I'm just um, letting the world know where I'm at with my music. You know, um, I just signed a distribution deal recently. Um, Congratulations. So thank you. Okay. So I'm showcasing that. Um, I'm not really dating anybody this season. This season, I'm kind of focused wow. on me and... I you know, love that. like if I run into somebody cool, but for right now, I'm just kind of like putting the focus on my music for real. You've been through so much, even with just, you know, your ex label and stuff yeah. like that. So you just only have a distribution deal. You're not like signed to anybody, right? Or, no, 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 no. No, not yet. But would you sign to another label? Absolutely. What are, what are the circumstances for that? Like, um, I always say as long as it makes sense for me, mm-hmm. you know, um, as long as I feel right about it, um, as long as I feel like it's going to benefit me in the best mm-hmm. way possible, you know, um, in the long run, not just for right now. And, um, yeah, so the distribution deal is really just a time for me to just 
grow mm-hmm. and you know big up my name a little more mm-hmm. um before i go to another big label um, and a lot of people don't know you really push your pen like i really do <laughs> you really do because we we see all the you know like of course sex sells and you're right. very beautiful and you you show everything but mm-hmm. at the same time if people pay attention to your bars and your lyrics you're really one of those ones who actually you know like give us bar for bar like I feel like if you can get in the ring with anybody and battle you know like how important it is is it for the culture to push their pen today I feel like and I'm gonna say this because mm-hmm. you know I, I am who I am and I do what I do mm-hmm. but you know I'm not against writers okay I'm not against having help okay you know what I'm saying but I prefer to write my own music you yeah. know now if I get stuck one day and I'm like oh I can't come up with a hook somebody help me mm-hmm. you know I'm cool with that now when it comes to the verses strictly me you know, you know what? I love that because I feel like when you write, for some reason, I could call it out. I don't know if other people can, but when you write your own lyrics, I could feel it. I could be like, oh, she went through that. Yeah. But if somebody, you know, if you're trying to sell somebody else's story, I could kind of, it's not going to yeah. hit the same. That's why, you know, like mm-hmm. if somebody does come and write a hook for me, mm-hmm. it has to be like, you know, something fun, a club record. Yeah. You know, it is never personal. Like mm-hmm. when it comes to personal, you know, personal messages, I prefer to write it because, you know, I can tell it the best, like you said. Yeah. No, I love that. So we've been seeing you pushing Fashion Nova. What's mm-hmm. the what's the tea behind that? How do I get a Fashion Nova deal? Because Girl, you've been promoting it for a minute. Really? <laughs> I just, I was spending money with Fashion Nova since 2018. <laughs> I'm glad they finally decided to come give me some bread. Were you, you tagging know? them or they were just seeing your clothes, like seeing what you had on? Every. Every now and then I would tag them. Mm-hmm. Not every time. Because I was in college when I mm-hmm. first found out about them. I was like, Fashion Nova, they got a lot of cute clothes. Yeah. So I started, you know, wearing their stuff, tagging them here and there. And then once I got into the industry, um, they reached out to me and wanted to do a partnership. Make sure this shirt that's is Fashion, Fashion Nova. Nova. Yeah. This <laughs> no, that's Fashion what I'm Nova. saying. You've been pushing it hard. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I know they're dropping it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Fashion But you Fashion were doing Nova. that before, which oh, is yeah, good. Girl. So I that's love the way their clothes fit. Their jeans fit real good. Mm-hmm. Everything fit real tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you've been in the studio. Let's get into the music. You've been mm-hmm. in the studio last night. You were in the studio with Rollo. Mm-hmm. Is that right? What do y'all? Is that something you could talk about? Like, what's going on with that? He survived. <laughs> he survived. Yeah, okay. I met him um, on set of Love and Hip Hop last week. Okay, I actually didn't even know he was on this season. So oh, I was wow. like, Oh, you on this season? He like, Yeah. He mm-hmm. like, We need to work and get in. Mm-hmm. So we set up for yesterday. Um, we did like four records. And um, wow, act- four, yeah. how long does the four record four records take in, in one? Girl, setting? honestly, it only took like two hours. That's it? It took us two hours. We was out of there. We went home. It's the beat. It got to be the beats. Like, if that's what, like, because I feel yeah. like I've been in the studio with somebody and it takes them hours to make one song. Girl, I've seen it. I've seen it all. <laughs> but it's like, you know, we kind of yeah. went in there knowing, mm-hmm. okay, we're going to do more than one song, you know? Mm-hmm. And after the first song, it was kind of like we were having fun with it. So mm-hmm. I picked a beat, we do a song, then he pick a beat, then I pick a beat, mm-hmm. you know? But it was a vibe. So we plan on possibly putting together an EP. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that'll be fire. And, um, yeah. I really, really just love the fact that you put so much into your music. And you haven't given up. Like, I've always said, Erica got what it takes. She got it. And we know that. We know you're a yeah. star. What do you feel is missing? Like, what can get you to the Grammys? What What do we need to do to take you to that next level? Um, You know what? I honestly don't know. You know, I can't mm-hmm. even really put my finger on it. Um, I kind of just look at it like... When the time is supposed to be that, it'll be that. It'll be that. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, when I'm supposed to be at the Grammys, when I'm supposed to perform at the BT, when mm-hmm. I'm supposed to, you know, I feel like it is going to happen. I feel like everything is already kind of like destined. You yeah. Know? So that's what keeps me going. And um, just seeing myself grow every day, it lets me know that, hey, okay, I am doing the right thing. Because mm-hmm. some days I wake up, I'll be like, am I supposed to be rapping? Or like, what? You know, but then I <laughs> right. snap back into it and I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm supposed for to this. be rapping. Yeah, this is for me. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. so this new single, Extra. Yes. You think you extra? I think I'm very extra, girl. <laughs> Talk about the inspiration behind this song with uh, Big Boogie. Right, so shout out to him for being a part of the record. Um, the message I'm giving off right here is that I'm an independent woman. Um, I pretty much take care of myself and anything a man does for me is extra. Yeah. Um, and I just want to, you know, push that message to the women and let them know, hey, girl, like, he don't always have to be the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it it could yeah. be you, girl. Like, you could mm-hmm. do for yourself and just let him do a little extra. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's what I'm trying to give off and just encourage women to just, you know, be independent, girl. Like, you don't got to depend on him. Absolutely. <laughs> Where can we stream that? Um, Everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, any music platform that you have is on there. 
You got Love and Hip Hop. You got new music coming out. You got Fashion Nova. What else are you working on? So I just wrapped up my project. Okay. It's titled Cocky on Purpose 2. Okay. I like that. Um, Cocky thank on you. Purpose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I previously, um, I dropped the first Cocky on Purpose back in 2019, I believe. And um, I just wanted to do something that my fans would appreciate. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I know the fans that know about the first Cocky on Purpose are going to mm-hmm. appreciate Cocky on Purpose mm-hmm. 2. So I'm excited. It's got like 13 tracks, I think. It's got like four features. So. And that's, a, that's an album or EP? This is a mixtape. A mixtape. Oh, yeah. you bringing it back. I'm bringing mixtape. it back, girl. I love it. I'm bringing it back. Of course. I gotta feed the streets. Of course, of course. <laughs> I know your your dream female collaboration. We all know that's right. Nikki. Your dream male collaboration is who? Future. Future. Ooh. Yeah. You haven't worked with Future yet? No, crazy, right? Do you know Future? No, not like that enough to call him. <laughs> if I can call his phone, I'll just be like, hey, we're up close to the studio. We gotta make that happen. We gotta make it happen. I yeah. feel like it's easier than I think it is. So. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's just more so you're just trying to let it align, and that's yeah. the right way. You don't want to force it. I don't want to force anything. You don't want to force I hate force forcing it. things. Well, I'm proud of you. Everything that you have going on. Thank you. You know, especially with you being on Love & Hip Hop, you're staying relevant. You're doing it. Oh, what you think about um, Chaotic Chaotic's Disc? I got to know <laughs> what you think about Chaotic Disc and Scrap. Because, I, first of all, is it a real beef? I'm not going to lie, y'all. That shit is, can I cuss? I'm just cussing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. It, it's definitely real. Um, I was there on set when uh, the situation transpired. Okay. I was actually standing right next to Chaotic. Oh, and wow. Yeah, like Scrappy just kind of ran up, like, and we was like, what's what going happened? on? Yeah, even Chaotic yeah. was confused, like, huh? And at that time, I didn't know, you know, what was going on, but I did see the diss song. That chaotic drop. <laughs> you heard it. Look, it's you kind you, of fire. you be pushing you be pushing your pen. Be honest. It's fire. It's fire. It's you like fire. it? Is that because that's because that's your ex boo? Is that Girl, why you take it out? Don't put me in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really think it is fire. Like, I, you know, Scrappy is my brother. You know, okay. I love them equally. However, okay. as an artist, I do feel like the song was fire. Okay. I think the situation is very entertaining too. Mm-hmm. Um, I think both of them are crazy, uh, you know. But I can't take them serious. I, can't I, I don't either. think That's it's a real I'm beat. like, at this point, yeah, okay. They're going to make up. They're brothers. They're going to make up. I they should. Like they should. They should. I think Scrappy should drop a song, too. That'd be fine. Right. Oh, so you wanted to be back and forth. Like you wanted versus. to be like Drake and Kendrick. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's hip hop, right? Right, right. That's what we do it for. That's what we know it for. <laughs> well, Erica, thank you so much for joining us. Tell everybody where to follow you, where they can find you. Absolutely. I can find me on Instagram on uh, fuck. On Instagram at Real Erica Banks, Twitter at Real Erica Banks, and all of my music is on all platforms under Erica Banks. All right, it's my age of Simone, Erica Banks. It's Hot 1079.